What's up, Jade Fusion fans, and welcome back to another Superhero Time review. So today is July 21st, 2019. Today is Sunday, and that means Superhero Time. So for today's Kamen Rider Geo, oh, by the way, uh, before I move on, I need to put a spoiler warning because I will mention a few details and plot points that are spoiler heavy but I will try to not spoil everything for everyone so with that out of the way let's move on so again going back uh, for uh, to Kamen Rider Go so today we see the debut of another decade and another drive and we also see the comeback of Kamen Rider Aqua now uh, this is a bit of a spoiler so Kamen Rider Another Decade or Another Decade is none other than Swartz himself. Now, we understand that Kamen Rider Decade is a very powerful writer with his abilities. So, uh, Swartz decides to use the Another Decade Ride Watch. And with that, he gains the ability to summon previous writers, particularly the movie villains. So, today he summons... G4, Kamen Rider Ray, uh, Kamen Rider Dark Ghost, and Kamen Rider Fuma. So it's interesting to see that another decade uses powers that are basically Kamen Rider DNs actually. And another decade doesn't transform into previous writers as you might think. Or maybe he does, we just haven't seen it yet. But, for another drive, the person who becomes another drive hasn't actually been revealed before. So only today did we see who it is. And it might surprise you. So that one, uh, you can uh, watch out for it yourselves and be excited about it. So... Kamen Rider Another Drive or Another Drive, uh, he has the ability to you know, stop time more similar to how Roy Mudes uh, did in Kamen Rider Drive. And the overall suit design of Kamen Rider Drive, although uh, it's uh, not that obvious, is kind of a mix with the Super Dead Heat form. From the Kamen Rider Drive movie, Surprise Future, yeah? So, you have like a rough mix of Kamen Rider Drive and like a Roy Mude-ish, you know, form. So, you have that already incorporated into the suit. So, another detail on the suit is that the left arm has a shield which is in the shape of a car door, particularly... Tridron's left hand door side and it has like uh, bands that says keep out you know much similar to the police line do not cross signs that you would see in crime scenes so it's very interesting now for Kamen Rider Aqua he comes back from the future for Gates and Tsukuyomi so he is the visitor from the future that we have mentioned in previous you know episode reveals and details about what today's episode would be so yes it is Kamen Rider Aqua so it's actually nice to see Kamen Rider Aqua again uh, he had made his debut uh, about four years ago and seeing his actor Atsushi Arai back is also very nice and for what reason Kamen Rider Aqua came back, so that's also something for you guys to see for yourselves, so stay tuned for that. And, you know, today we actually learn a lot about uh, certain characters, so uh, we have, you know, Ora and Ur on the run, so why are they actually running? So, why are they time jackers in the first place? So we learn about it here. And we also learn something about uh, Gates and Tsukuyomi. 
as uh, mentioned by Kamen Rider Aqua or Miharu, you know. So what happens in, with them in this timeline is uh, mentioned by Miharu in this episode. So uh, yeah, so timey wimey stuff he says. So that's uh, so you should watch out for that. Now today's Ryu soldier is actually very interesting. So we we see today the debut of Gigant Kishiryuo, the combination of Kishiryuo, Kishiryu Neptune plus Dime Volcano, and you would probably think because of that it's going to be another Ko and Kanaro focus episode, but surprisingly it's not Ko who's taking the spotlight, although this is also Kanaro's episode but the other uh, Ryu soldier who is focused on this episode is actually uh, very surprising. So again, you'd think that it's Ko in Kanado for today, but it's actually another Ryu soldier in Kanado for today. So it's uh, interesting how today's episode plays out. Now, for today's Minosaur, uh, today's Minosaur is actually very interesting. Because usually, Minosaurs have a human host, right? So, today, for the first time, we see a non-living object become a host for a Minosaur. Now, typically, you can defeat Minosaurs by, you know, defeating them in battle, of course, or by destroying the host. So, this has caused some moral dilemmas in the earlier episodes, especially... You know, when Toa and Bamba first arrived on the scene. When they first appeared on the show. So, because today the host is a non-living object, we can, easily ass we can easily assume that, you know, by destroying this object, the Minosaur can easily be destroyed. However, this uh, causes some sort of problems among the Ryu soldiers and you know they are arguing about you know whether they should destroy this object or not so what happens with that is for us to see in this episode although for Gigant Kishiryo I actually like this combination uh, it is more powerful but it only takes three uh, mech pieces to form so it's not gonna be a cluster not just yet but uh, seeing the previous scans for you soldier I don't think that they're going to cluster each and every you know Kishiryu onto Kishiryu just to make him look bigger and stronger I think that's not gonna be the case for this season so seeing Gigant Kishiryu in action is very nice, uh, at least how I see it. So for today's uh, Kamen Rider Geo, I give it a 5 star out of 5. It's a very nice episode with all the interesting reveals for today. Uh, you know, seeing uh, Kamen, another decade and another drive in the same episode. Uh, I do think uh, the show is rushing things already and... Uh, but how today's episode was executed, I liked it very much. And today's uh, New Soldier, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 because, uh, because of the Minosaur aspect for today. So because of that, you know, the, today's plot is very interesting. So uh, watch out for the full episodes. They will be out soon. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from JE Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you on the next Superhero Time Review. Bye!